to hang on to win just an absolute thriller 116 115 Shanae Agumake can you tell us how the Mavs got this done. Thank you so much sis. Thanks Malika. Everyone knows Luca can score with the best of them but it's the all around game that is most mm. impressive to me. What won Dallas the game yesterday was not his scoring but his passing. He now has six triple doubles on the season which is more than any other player and also more than any team total combined. So let's take a look at the game winning play by Luca and the Mavs. So watch this. Actually first let me tell you this. What Luca really wants in an end of game scenario he wants isolation and he also wants a switch that he can take advantage of. But he knew the defense, the Nuggets defense was going to be aggressive. So what do they do? Dribble handoff into a flare screen so it forces a switch. And you'll see the switch coming. Now, normally, Luka would really exploit this, but this is where he goes to decoy mode, knowing that they're going to be aggressive. Now his job right here is to draw the defense out and exaggerate what is to come. And what is coming is a trap. Now, normally, if you look at Nikola Jokic and also Aaron Gordon, who are going to be engaged in this trap, Normally, if you're going to switch and it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to be low defensively. Jokic is standing straight up, which is another signal that he's probably going to try to run out on him. Also, you can even see Dorian Finney-Smith. The Mavs are all on point. He's ready to slip the screen knowing that the trap is coming. But my favorite part right here, actually, is I want you to watch Coach Michael Malone. Watch him. This is the strategy. The trap comes. Here's the slip. He's like, trap, trap. Beautiful behind the back dime. And by the way, y'all, by the time uh, he caught that ball, what did he force? He forced the one, two, three on two where any one of them could have got a really good look. But most importantly, Malika, mm. this shows that Luca's not only willing to take the big shot, but he's also willing to trust in his teammates by baiting out the defense. Beautiful behind the back dime. And guess what? That got you a win. It was just an awesome game. The person next to me was like, are you okay? Are you good? Because I was like, oh, oh my God, Luka, he's doing it again. <laughs> you okay? You okay? Let's dive into this game a little bit more, though, specifically Luka versus Jokic. Jokic is the two-time MVP. Yep. Luka thoroughly in the hunt, in the mix this year. Ramona, if you're looking, though, at who can lead their team further, and I know that's a loaded question, <laughs> yeah. also have to look at the cast around them, how are you assessing that? I mean... <laughs> I know. Okay. Today's just like, yes, you can start me off. I'm done with my Luca's life. younger, I guess. So you can probably go there. But Luca has the ball in his hands more. They put the, So he has to start the play. He has, and and the, when teams have beaten the Nuggets in the past, they just kind of dare Jokic to do what he does but mm. make everyone else beat them. Right. right? Um, you can't do that as much with Luca because he's such a – he has a little more around him. But with Jamal Murray can be Jamal Murray, then – it's it's close because Jokic is such an amazing passer, and I didn't know he could run the floor like that, Richard. And yeah, I, yeah, I, I knew he could run the floor, but to wow. me, it's it's Jokic, and it's mainly because oh. of the cast. No, it is. Yeah. It's Jokic because of the cast. Right. And like we're talking, you're saying, oh, but it's a two-time in. I mean, one back guy back. did just take his team to the Western yeah, Conference. Yeah, one guy final. did take his and team then, to the Western it, Conference it was finals one guy. two, year, two, two years, years ago. ago. Two years ago, two years ago, they so, both left. I have recency bias. But this. I, but I, you respect admit it. Your, I respect <laughs> your honesty because, yeah. look, when you look at this roster, right, when I look at the Denver Nuggets, you got Aaron Gordon, who was 10 for 13, right? Like, you got to pay attention to him, especially with Jokic, the way he moves, right. slashes, cuts, offensive rebounds. When you look at Jamal Murray, Jamal Murray will be so much better come April, yeah. come May. Like, that's when he's going to be playing his best basketball. I don't look at this this Denver roster or, or this Dallas roster. I think they're good. I think they can, but they lost their second best player. Christian Wood is good, but he's not quite there yet. Sorry, Houston sis. He's not quite there yet. So I just like the Denver Nuggets roster. So I will be the tie break and actually not hedge and just say, I'm gonna say Luca. Okay. Just because the question is who can carry their team further. And I think on Luca's back, you get a ball handler, but you also get someone that can initiate the offense and control the pace. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Literally, no but, but that's the difference in the NBA. What has been the argument about Anthony Davis? He can't pass himself the ball. Right. Luka Doncic can control the game in a way that only guards control that's the game true. right now. That's not true. How is that not I'm true? I'm argue with it's you. A, which post player right now controls a game and is effective? The two-time MVP Nikola Jokic. Okay, but like I'm talking about when Look it at comes. His Look at his I'm assist. talking about when it comes to overall when you're scripting an offense. Like how it, it, it always comes down to the ball handler, and I think Yo Luka Doncic, Jokic, based on his talent. Jokic averages more assists. Jokic, Jokic might have more. Uh, you're struggling right no, now. No, 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 no. I think Jokic might have actually more certified all-star caliber town around him. Fair, fair. But individually, 
Luka Doncic by himself probably can or he's half he's 2.5 guys out there on the floor 55 points is what he generates based on what he does scoring and assisting so I think in the day and age where the NBA it all comes down to who can handle the ball well and to that point you have Aaron Gordon going for 27 last night Brute oh, Brown I got had it. 12 so Nikola Jokic okay. 19 <laughs> KCP yep. had 12 Jamal Murray had 11 Bones Highland with 20 Woo. and that wasn't enough to beat Luka. I know it wasn't enough. I'm not saying, look, look, Jamal <laughs> Murray you. was two for 11. You. Jamal <laughs> Murray was two for 11. Yeah, I think, he struggled. But, but again, when I look at that, Bones Highland, what he's able to do, again, you had no Michael Porter Jr. out there, so there's more there's more meat on that bone when you're talking about the Denver Nuggets than we're talking about the Dallas Last Mavericks. time we talked about the Mavericks, we were t the, the sense was they, they lost Brunson and replaced his production with Spencer Dinwiddie's production, right? But you but never replaced replace, Spencer Dinwiddie's right. production, right? <laughs> yes. yeah. If Tim Hardaway Jr. can do what he's done the last five games. Mm. He's had five games with at least five three pointers. Mm -hmm. Now you're t now yeah, you're that's when you're starting to cook. But the fact that Jokic is even the conversation right next to Luca in the sense that he can command deer and offense yeah. to me is a huge win for a center because it's not easy for ADs, it's not easy also, for the Embiid. You have to be more of a hybrid ball handler. No, but the only person, the yeah. answer is the only person is Giannis, who is a hybrid ball handler and center mm. that has been able to from that position win a championship. As long as you recognize, Richard as long as you recognize Jefferson. that Jokic is different than any player in the skill league. wise, and that's yes. why he's from the center the position, yes. MVP. Indeed. Yeah, yes. Ramona Shelburne, okay. thanks for spending a little time <laughs> with us here on NBA Today. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.